Well, it's a hot and humid day here in Wisconsin, and that typically calls for like a lake day, right? Well, we're not looking at any water right now. There we go. How about that? So I was actually making a TikTok video and I figured why not do a YouTube video as well on these. I haven't really explained my rare boat collection. So this is not all of them, but this is a good majority of them. We have two still left out. Those are those guys right there. We have two more water mouses on a trailer, but I figured since I was doing this TikTok video, why not just go through my boats and I can kind of show you guys how they drive and uh, you know go from there. So we're actually going to be building a property in Northern Wisconsin where a lot of these are probably gonna stay the rest of their life as the pond here at the house, you know, it's good for testing, but for mini boats, it's quite small. But, um, so I figured why not just go through these boats, take them for a little test drive, kind of tell you a little bit about them. All right, let's start with this black one here. This is called a Merkub and it's a pickle fork style. There you go. This has a 25 two stroke Merc on it. And this one is actually pretty dang rare. So um, tell you the story really quick. So this is a 1986 Merkub. And it's called a Merkub because the actual manufacturer's name is Cougar Cub. And Mercury for, I don't know if it was for a certain amount of boats. I have read somewhere as, as little as uh, 13 of them, could be wrong, were made into Mercubs and Mercury bought these boats from Cougar Cub and they plastered their stuff all over it. Check this out Mercury Performance Products, Mercury High Performance Products Incorporated, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Super cool. Uh, very hard to find. This is it. This is a, a pretty stinking rare boat. Uh, being pickle fork, it's actually pretty hard to drive. Um, here on the pond, it's actually uh, quite difficult because by the time you get onto a plane, you already have to basically stop because I'm out of room here. So this one will be interesting to bring to northern Wisconsin and, and leave up there where you can run it on a bigger lake. But um, from my understanding, typically these were raced somewhere in Oshkosh and they had mercury XD 25s on them. This is just a Mercury 25, uh, same year, but it's not the XD for some reason. Um, but anyhow, found this one under a tarp here local uh, to my house, which was pretty stinking rare to find. Um, they were moving and again, it was one of those freestyling uh, things we did where we were driving around and we actually saw it under a tarp and we had to buy it off of them. So, um, Perfect timing on the Merkub. Very cool, very interesting. This one says number one on it. I don't know if this was the first one made or if this was just the number given uh, to the Merkub for wherever it was raced. All right, everybody, we are on the 1986 Merkub. And forgive me, like I was saying in the beginning of this, this boat is very hard to get onto a plane in this amount of room, but uh, being a Mercury, check this out. All right, so we're gonna try giving it here, but like I said, this one's pretty hard to uh, to actually uh, get on a plane, but we'll do our best. I actually did a video on this one. This is called a Disney mouse boat. Mercury made this for Disney World and then they made some for the public. And like I said, I actually did a video on this one. I won't go too in depth with this one. I prefer if you go check out the video of it 
Um, I go a little more in depth and we revive it and get it on the pond and drive it. But um, in short, this was a factory giveaway from Mercury and we bought it off the person who won the giveaway. So this is a two seater. It's made out of like a poly carbon. It's like almost like a plastic per se. Very cool, very interesting, honestly. It's, it's light, it's V shape. There you go, you got the V. Gets right on a plane. The ones made for Disney World actually came with a 9.9 .9, and the ones that were made for the public uh, came with 15s. So this is a 15 two stroke and it's got um, optional lights on it. Like I was saying, this I'd go way more in depth with this one on uh, the video, which I'll link above. But anyhow, a factory giveaway from Mercury. Would love for if you guys go check out that video. So uh, super fascinating, this boat here. And it, it's, it's been perfect. It runs great. And you can't really go wrong with the Mercury two strokes. So. So this is uh, the Kawasaki Jetmate. This is 1990. So Kawasaki came up with this boat. It's a 650cc inboard jet drive. And you control it like a joystick, like a video game. Check this out. So you actually drive it like that and it has like a trigger here that you actually use for the gas. It has a very rare and these are always busted. These are always gone. This is a splash guard. And this one has it. This one has the original trailer, original cover, original manual. I bought this off a guy who bought it brand new. He was an attorney and he had a pond down in Indianapolis and it was too small for his pond. So as he put it, it has probably about five hours on this thing. Uh, incredible shape. I have a jump pack sitting in here because I don't have a battery big enough. Uh, but I'll lift up this back seat. Um, original tag still in there. It has a blower like a boat. Pretty big gas tank. Um, here's like your storage. Um, usually a fire extinguisher sits in there. Um, here's the seat. Pretty cool. So the seat will sit like this. And what you can actually do is you can actually put it all the way down. And you can lay down across here and this joystick will drop down. There you go. And you can drive it while laying down. Um, wouldn't recommend it. It's not very comfortable, but they give you that option. Has a key here. Here's your choke. Um, here's the bilge. Probably can't hear it. Blower. Um, fuses down below. It even has the original keychain. Check that out. Kawasaki. Very cool to bring this up. You just pull it forward. You'll hear a click. Come on. Oh, I didn't go all the way down with it. There we go. Very cool, three-seater, a lot of storage. They had optional uh, tw swim tabs on the back. There are little tabs that stuck out and you were actually able to like swim off this thing. Very cool, very hard to find. Um, they bring in a decent amount of money now, so if you find one that's pretty cheap, always look for cracks on these things because once the foam gets wet, you're in big trouble. <laughs> it does not go away. You'll have to separate the hull and, and do a big restoration on it. So, so the Jetmate is a three-seater, and the motor sits in the middle. You have forward, neutral, reverse. There's a neutral uh, lockout, so it has to be neutral. Um, here's inside the engine bay. I converted it to a uh, premix, so you just mix 50 to 1 instead of the oil injection that could potentially fail on there. There's the bilge sitting way back there. 
There it is. So uh, you drive this one like a joystick and it is probably the most interesting one out of all of them. Um, so let's see here if I can do this. Um, it's like I was saying, left, right, that's your throttle. Here's the start, stop, and all your accessories up there. So let's go ahead and let's take this for a little ride. We're gonna be in neutral. All right, we got storage up there. Storage all the way around you. All right, so let's go to reverse. Let's start backing up here. And we'll go to forward. And this one's a little loud, so here we go. Coming up next is the 1984 Addictor 190. So uh, I'm actually gonna bring these both into frame here. Now this is called an Aqualark and this is called an Addictor. Now if you look, they are almost identical. We'll bring it down here. Hopefully you guys can see that in video. The hulls are almost identical. So from my understanding, the Addictor was made in Lake Havasu, Arizona, I believe. And they came up with a 190, I think it's called a Bambino. Um, they came up with a whole line of small mini boats. And this was the 190 model. From my understanding, this one is quite rare as well because this is the um, sport model, I believe it was called. It has a thicker rub rail that goes around it. It has this interesting, um, you know, railing that goes around the front, windshield, bimney. Um, on this one, particularly, it has a radio, a tachometer, a speedometer, um, a horn. You got radio here. You have lights here. I have a phone charger in here. Pretty much basic um, controls here, kill switch. So technically that should be attached to you. I thought the lanyard got in my way. Key start, and then another phone charger down here. Um, you have a bilge pump over on that side. And I added a Panther trim to this thing. And let me tell you, it is a night and day difference with this thing. They are definitely worth it if you ever get a little mini boat. I have mine sitting on controls right here. So up, down, um, definitely a game changer. It just makes it so easy to get on a, a plane, easy to go up. Mine's a little loud, but um, definitely a game changer.
from my understanding, Addictor made these boats and when Addictor closed shop, they sold the molds to Aqualark out of Illinois, Northern Illinois, I believe these were made. And they did a, a few things with these. Uh, as you can see, the rubber is smaller. It has this, you know, stripe up the middle. Um, so this one is a little particular in one reason, and I'll tell you why in a second, if, if it's correct. Um, from my understanding with these but when aqualark got these they made these little guys and then they made the same thing in three different versions so you could get them in the outboard you could get them with a trolling motor and you could get them that was a jet drive in drive with them so i don't know the exact motor they used a lot of people put like kawasaki 550s or 650s in them um, but they were actually called jet larks and so this opening here um, was created, uh, you know, you'd have a, a, a jet drive actually in the middle here and the motor would be hidden. They looked very sleek. And those were the three options that Aqualark gave you once they bought the molds off of Addictor. So with the Addictor, you could only get them with the outboards in the early eighties. Whereas the late eighties, this one's a 1989 to be exact. This one is where you can get the three different options. Now, from my understanding, this boat is somewhat pretty rare just like the rest of them okay i need to stop right here actually before we talk about this boat because uh my my goal here is not to spread misinformation especially for uh, such a small and unique thing um so in the video i explained that this is potentially jet lark so the jet lark is a bit different um which i'll show you here in a minute but um in the video, I explained that this is a, a jet lark, which it is not. This is not a jet lark. And actually, after talking and watching the video when I was editing it, I thought that didn't sound right because the previous owner told me this information. So um, I forgot when I actually purchased my first one, which isn't here anymore. I sold it. It was a yellow aqua lark. Um, it came with a brochure. And excuse the boat, it's a little dirty. As you can see, it's been a couple of weeks uh, actually since the video. I have a different motor on it now. And, um, but anyhow, uh, I got this original Zamco Lark brochure with it. And so this is originally what I thought it was. There's the Jet Lark. There you go. And uh, so I had to dig it up. And as you can see, um, I don't have the, uh, the weird looking back like this one does. And uh, I have the actual lid. So, I was like, okay, well, it's not a Jet Lark. And they made a bunch of other ones. So like a Sport Jet, Sport Lark O. Uh, this is the most famous one here. And uh, there's an Electric Lark. And there is the last one here, Aqua Lark Rental. So um, this boat actually was in a rental fleet. So if I zoom in there, you see the latch? So that is this one. So uh, this at one time, was in a rental fleet. So that's the story with this one. And I figured I would just correct that before you guys watched the video and you thought, oh, you know, cool, that was a jet lark or whatever. And you know, I were to find out in the future that no, it's it's not a jet lark. So uh, this was a rental lark at one time. Kind of cool information. So like I was saying, I already swapped the motor, but um, just wanted to clear that up before actually posting this video. So let's get back to this one. <laughs>
everybody, thanks for tuning into this video. Thanks for checking out my weird, rare mini boat collection. Me personally, if I had to choose one, I guess it would be my daily driver. So this one actually probably gets the most use out of all of them. This comes up to Northern Wisconsin with me uh, about three times a year. And now in the uh, future, it'll be staying up there now that we're building a house up there. Um, if I had to choose second, it would probably be this guy. This is a lot of fun to drive. And like I said, pretty hard to find. Um, and then I'd probably go with this guy. And I, to be fair, I have yet to really put it on a big lake. So, um, you know, in the pond, as you saw from the videos, it's just, it's too hard to get on a plane right when it starts getting over onto a plane. Um, you got to turn around down here or down there. So um, I, I, that might change once this is actually on a lake and I can actually really run this thing. I think this thing will be like on rails. I think it'll be a lot of fun to drive. Um, and then, you know, you got your classic mouse boat and then, you know, the Aqualark is great because it's quiet, but um, in the future, I think I'm actually going to be taking that motor off. I have a 25 horsepower for it. Uh, Mariner short shaft that I picked up for like 200 bucks. So um, I think I'm gonna probably put that 25 on there and take that four stroke off and uh, that one might go, I might sell it, just because it's so close to the Addictor, and the Addictor just has more accessories. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, like I was saying before, let me know down below. Uh, which one would you take? Would it be the mouse boat, the Merkub, the Jetmate, the Addictor, or the Aqualark? Thanks for checking this out, guys. I will see you in the next video.